Patrick, how are your injuries doing? Can you show your hands and everything? Yep, yeah, I mean, they're, uh, those are the bite marks. I got another one on this hand, uh, on that middle finger. I got this from the gravel, and then I got more scratches and bites on my feet. And um, everyone says that I've healed up pretty fast. I'm still getting rabies shots, and I'm on uh, antibiotics for it. And um, nothing looks infected. So Are you feeling better? Yeah, a little bit. What about the loss of your dog? Is that very painful for you emotionally right now? Yeah, it's, it's really, it's weird. Um, after 11, like I've had her for over half my life, and it's weird being in the house without her. And it's like not very... It's not a nice thought, you know. But you have no plans to replace her with another lab right now? Not right now, no. I think it's, uh, um, it's kind of just too soon to think about that. What do you think of all the publicity this case has brought to Oxford? Well, I think it's, in a, in a bad way, it's good publicity, because the word needs to get out about these, uh, these, uh, this family and their dogs, and, um, because this has happened before, and it's never gonna, it should never happen again. So we're gonna make sure that it doesn't ever happen again. Okay, Patrick, thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks.